Hi there. So this is my website. And if I scroll down, I can see the default footer here. And it's quite simple. But what if you want to edit this text, add a form so that users can fill this and click on submit. And you can see the responses on your WordPress dashboard like this or even link to different pages. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a stunning footer design for your website and we'll be using the free version of Elementor, not Elementor Pro, to build a clean and aesthetic footer like this, this, or even this. Plus, the design will be SEO optimized and responsive across all devices. We'll be using a free plugin for designing this footer with social media links, a contact form, GDPR privacy policies, and more. I'll do this step by step so you can follow along. But before we start, make sure to install the plugin we'll be using for creating the footer. Just go to your WordPress dashboard, click on add new plugins, and install the Elementor header and footer builder plugin like this. Now let's see how you can create the footer. I'll go to the plugin settings and choose the footer template from here. Make sure that it's displayed throughout the entire site so that every visitor can access it. This also makes sure that your footer is correctly tagged on your page so when Google bots scroll your site, they can easily find it and give you a better SEO score. All right, now I'm on my Elementor page. I'll click here and set the page as Elementor full width and publish the template. Now let's click here and choose this container layout with four columns. Go to your left, set the width to 1600 pixels. This will make sure our footer covers the entire width of the screen. Next, let's add these quick links to our footer. To do that, just drag and drop the heading widget in the first container and change the name of the quick links. Now, let's drag an icon list widget so we can create the clickable links for the home page, about us page and other pages. Okay, let's go to the left and add our quick links one by one. First, let's add a link to our home page. So I'll go here, change this to home. Down here, you can add any icon by clicking this box. And then you can add the link to your home page like this. Once done, follow the same method to add other quick links. I'll do mine quickly. And this is how it looks. Now, let's add a section for our best products. So I'll drag an heading widget here and name it best products. Again, for the product links, I'll follow the same method as quick links. I'll go to the left, add the name of the product I want in the footer, change icon from here if required, and add a link to the relevant product page here. Let's follow the same steps for blogs as well. All right, I'll drop a heading widget, change the text from here, and now to list my blogs here, I'll drop a text editor. And in this section, I'll put all my blogs one by one like this. And here's the tricky part. To add links to these blogs, just select the first block, click this link icon, and put your link here. And repeat the same steps for other blogs as well. Next, set a background image for the main container. I'll click here, go to the style tab, and choose a background image like this. Okay, so the text isn't clearly visible now, but don't worry, we'll fix that later. I'll first add a form here so I can collect customer information and answer queries. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll first add a form here so I can collect customer information and answer queries. I'll add in a heading widget and change it to this. Now let's drag in a standard form widget and drop it here. You can also use third party forms like WB forms, Forminator or Ninja forms. Just install their plugins and you can insert the forms here. Anyways, let's get back to customizing this form. I'll adjust its appearance and style settings. And once done, the form should look something like this. All right, let's fix the text color now so that it's visible. I'll change the font color to this. 
and add a background overlay to the background image. Also, let's adjust the form size like this. And done. Our footer is almost ready. We just need to add a few more elements. Next, we will add the Google Play Store and Apple iTunes store links in the footer and ask our customers to download our mobile apps. This is perfect if you've got an app ready for your site and want your visitors to use it. So first, we'll add some text here like this. Once done, you can drag and drop the image widget here to add your app store icons. I'll also change its position to absolute. Then I'm going to adjust the size of the icon and its position. I'll now duplicate it to create the other app store icon. There you go. Just make sure to link it with your mobile app URL. So whenever someone clicks on this logo, they'll be redirected to the respective app store. Let's now create the bottom part of the footer. Take a fresh container here. Add three inner containers to it and set them to a row. Set the background color to black and drop the heading widget here. I'll change it to this copyright line. Also put a link here if you want to redirect viewers to your copyright documents. And done. I'll also make some adjustments to it and it should look something like this. I'll also make sure to add the GDPR policy here so that the visitors know that the data is protected and won't be shared with anyone else. And don't forget to put GDPR compliance or privacy policy document link in this section. Now let's set up our social icons. I'll just drag the widget here and change the style to circle from here. And the social icon should look like this. You can also customize the footer as you want and change the colors to meet your site's theme. Finally, let's make sure this footer is optimized for the mobile view. I'll click here to shift to the mobile layout. Now go to responsive and adjust the design to make it fit the mobile layout. As we only have a smaller area to work with on the mobile devices, I'll just add some padding to the form to adjust its position like this. Okay, everything is done now. Let's preview it and test the footer. And yeah, the footer works and also looks good. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.